Yes, even with the Italian snacks. We're going to have a barbecue pulled pork empanada pie and a creamy and cheesy chicken. All right, I think we'll be able to figure out which, which is which between these two. They also have a number of dessert empanadas. I, all right, we'll try, we'll try, but all right, we'll definitely, yes, definitely that one. But I'm pretty much in the same place as I was yesterday out here on the deck enjoying my two empanadas. I think this might be it for tonight. Well, except for pizza or whatever else they have going on. The white party, no, the white silent party is tonight. We'll be headed off to that and they are doing quests, believe it or not. It has gotten cold out here. Oh my God, it's freezing. So I gotta eat these quickly before they, I guess, turn into hockey pucks. All right, well, I guess, ah, like I said, we'll be able to tell the difference between, between these two. This is the uh, creamy, cheesy chicken. I don't, know, I don't know if you can really see too much into that, but here we go. Mmm. Rightio, next up is the pulled pork empanada pie. Don't know if you can see that either, but here we go. Hmm. The empanada pies, more good comfort food. A lot of good, really comfort food. And when I say comfort food, I mean a lot of fried carbs. <laughs> yes. My recommendation would be to go earlier in the day, right after they first open, because that venue is not very popular. I think those pies have been sitting there for a while. So, go at Rope Drop and try them. And let me know, if you do, how they are. Because, yeah, I wish I had gone earlier. So tomorrow, yes, we'll go at Rope Drop to try the Nutella empanada. There we go. But no promises. Okay, so the White Silent Party, or the Silent White Party, is starting soon. That's where we are headed to. It is Silent White Party night here aboard Carnival Forense. All right, I can't tell. Okay, there we go. Now we can tell what song it is. It's always the same songs, but okay. Blue, red, and that's it. Only, only two channels. Oh, no. Oh, there's a green. I wonder what's on green. All right, serious question because, well, I don't know the answer. That's why I'm asking. Why do the thoughts always tilt the phone? Like when they do the selfie, why are they why are they always like this? I mean, I mean, why? I don't I don't get it. It is time for Carnival Quest. Yes, I have never gone to this on a Carnival cruise. Only Royal and MSC. Is this an Italian thing? I don't know how they get away with that. But, is it going to be different? Is my ideal contestant going to be the same? Probably. <laughs> how different could it be? All right, well, let's go see how Carnival does the quest. This could be scary. Yes. Well, because I really don't know what's going on, I will be comfortably near the door. I guess I need to run. Carnival quest. All right, typical quest game, a lot of novel items, but no video, no photography. Yes, announcement right before the show. Okay, weird. Hey, you don't want people to know about it. Don't do it. Either way, oh, and of course, oh, <laughs> his majesty, the cruise director, is safely ensconced on the little stage behind velvet ropes. Unlike the Royal Caribbean cruise directors who are right there in the thick of things. Okay, I guess that's how they do it around here. It is just after midnight, so I don't know. Maybe a little while longer and then off to Betty Bye. We'll see. Change of plans. Well, not really change of plans because I didn't really have any plans. Snack, then Betty Bye. Yeah, tomorrow is a sea day. Get up early, enjoy this beautiful ship. Then, uh, yes. Lido. See? See? Names. Deck names. Well, oh, here we are. I did not check the line for Pizza Pirate. The Buffett line. There is no Buffett line. Okay, what what's going on here? What? I, okay, there's a flaw in the matrix. Great. Snack. Maybe snack one. I don't know. This is the grilled vegetable and balsamic 
uh, sandwich, I guess. This is a grinder, I know. But we have to compare uh, chips and buffalo chicken bites, which look more substantial than I would have expected, although now that I see them in the light, who knows? Yes, no line for pizza, no line at the buffet. What is going on? I Now I'm getting, I'm getting worried. Have pirates taken over and... Okay. Be careful. Tasty change from pizza, although probably back to pizza tomorrow. I think in the morning, 9 o'clock, I have a specialty breakfast scheduled. I'll check on that soon. But that means it is time to head back, get into... Well, get cleaned up, and then into Betty Bye for a good night's sleep. Yes, that's all I will be doing is sleeping. Anyway, tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you in bed. Well, good morning from the unexpectedly quiet Carnival Forensic. I did my best to sleep in. It is just before 8. I know, I know, I know. So, off to coffee and, uh, all right, pro tip. Do not eat Italian snacks, empanadas, sandwiches, buffet snacks, all in the same day. Mmm, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine, I will be fine. But there you go, I, I suffer to, for you. It is a beautiful day out there. I don't know, maybe water slides again? You know, with the sun out and everything? That's, that's tiring, I gotta tell you. All right, so it's not the tax man, it's just, it's just onboard inventory control. I guess because of the flimsy door? I'm pretty sure I bought a themed breakfast. And I thought it was today, but it's not on my calendar. It is not in the fun guide. So I'm gonna have to go and find out. I'm not really sure how to do that. Yes, I'm glad I came down to check. I did pre-reserve this, but it does not show up in my planner. So some glitch in the system there. And here we have thing one and thing two. Late seating, fortunately. So I have time to go and get cleaned up and then get my Effie charm. Fun fact, I have not seen this open once. And, oh, look, it has a different seal on it. Well, check this out. They're doing little Italian crafts. Okay, this could be fun, but I have my reservation. In an unexpected turn of events, I'm not late for my Cat in the Hat birthday breakfast. There's a line to get into the dining room, and I'm thinking I don't really need to wait. I'm just going to sit here and, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm making my own express pass. No need to stand in line. I have my autograph ready to go. And uh, minor line, probably seating pretty quickly. This is a different seating pretty quickly. That's what I said. This is a different experience than what we did on, where was that? No, was that on Carnival Horizon? I don't remember. <laughs> Somebody go back and watch all the videos and let me know where I did the breakfast. Are we going to see Sam? Okay, that is the question. Cat, cat, and also cat. Not spinning, not spinning cat. Don't think I don't notice. New ship, new cats. Okay, he's new, he's new. Actually, it would make sense that these are brand new. I don't think Costa would do this. This is what we are experiencing. Thing one and thing two, birthday breakfast. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Okay. And, oh gosh, is it, oh my God. It, it's actual ice. Wow. Here is the table setup. Bow tie, hat. No, you don't get to keep it, sadly. And, I don't know, pom-poms? No, what are they, uh, whatever. And there he is, cat. Wait a minute. This is thing one, thing two breakfast. Why do we have cat? If I remember, here's the menu for this event. And I will, if I remember, because no promises, check the menu for the Dr. Seuss breakfast tomorrow. See if it's different. That's what I want to know. We're watching, we're, we're definitely watching you, Carnival. I got my thing to autograph, and this is the steak and eggs. That's, that's the name. It doesn't have some fun rhyming name. And this is... Well, it's supposed to be velvet French toast. I guess the velvet is on the inside. At least that is the Pouville red velvet French toast. But this is just steak and eggs.
I got all the autographs. However, this was not expected. I don't know if I was supposed to give them the dessert order or they didn't ask or I was just skipped, but I was skipped. And now I'm sitting here in the atrium with my Dr. Seuss dessert. So I'm sure they will smooth out the service quirkiness quickly. At least I hope they do. I guess this is the cat in the hat parfait. I don't know, it, well, it's not really his colors, but it's still, well, colorful. All right, and this is the cake. All right, if it's on the menu, well, you can figure that out, okay. All right, seven colors. I, okay, either somebody knows exactly what they're doing or nobody knows what they're doing. As for the whole experience, it was cute, inexpensive. It was only $15, so that is, I guess, a plus and the food is definitely upcharge worthy. The steak and eggs was excellent. The the cut of meat was, uh, you know what, it was upcharge worthy, put it that way. The French toast, the velvet French toast, the Whoville velvet French toast, that was weird. I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna presume it was exactly the way it was supposed to be. It, it's just kind of a very odd uh, dish. So know what you're getting into and as before, you can just ask for as many things as you want. Not a problem at all. The show aspect, uh, very toned down. It was, I don't know, it was, it felt like there should be more. Or I was expecting more having done the regular Dr. Seuss breakfast before. So I don't know what the birthday aspect brings to it. That's it. However, $15 upcharge breakfast. Okay, you know what? Go have fun and get some pictures and some autographs. There you go, and $15, you know, it's not, yeah. I would say, worth it.